Hey everyone, it's Lindsay Curry back again to start wrapping up our spooky writing workshop. I hope that you guys have had fun doing this with me. I hope that you've discovered some new tips and tricks for your own writing so that you can truly create a sinister masterpiece this fall. I also hope I get to see some of these masterpieces because it's thrilling to me to be able to watch you all go from the beginning stages all the way through. And I hope that you're thinking about starting something and finishing it. That's the hardest part, friends. I know that some of the things we've talked about up to now feel challenging, you know, setting the, the atmosphere and the tone and writing these vivid descriptions and getting the pacing right. But finishing our stories can be challenging too because they're so exciting at the beginning and then the middle gets a little bit tougher and then it's even harder to stick with it and finish it up. But I know you guys can do it. So today I thought it would be fun to share some writing prompts with you guys. Now I know you all may already have ideas for your stories that you want to use and that's fantastic. But if you don't, I have a whole bunch of them right here. So if you want to take a look at them, I'll read them out loud as well. But if you want to print them or take a look, they're back on my website, lindsaycurry.com. Remember, go to the Teacher Resources tab, scroll down until you see Spooky 101. And when you see Spooky Story Writing Prompts right here, that's what you're going to want to uh, click on and open up and print or at least just have up on your screen. So let me start by reading this to you. I think we've got five, four or five here. And if any of those appeal to you, then where I leave off, you are going to take over and see what your imagination and your new skills can create. All right, here we go. Here's the first prompt. It's Halloween night, otherwise known as the best night in the whole year. My candy bag is so full I can barely carry it with one hand anymore. Might be a sign that it's time to head home. I wave goodbye to my friends, then turn in the direction of my house. The streets are dark, lit only by dim street lights and the occasional flicker of a jack-o'-lantern. I turn onto my street, stopping in my tracks when I see... Your turn. Okay, here's prompt number two. Most mornings I wake up to the smell of eggs and bacon. Dad loves to cook. And I love to eat, so we get along really well. But this morning is different. I don't wake up to a smell. I wake up to a sound. A whir, whir, whir coming from somewhere downstairs. Easing into the hall, I notice there's a thin layer of something that looks like fog covering the floor. It trails down the stairs, beckoning me with its wispy fingers. I take a few hesitant steps down, gasping when the living room comes into view. What do you think's in the living room? I hope you guys have some idea. Okay, here's prompt number three. School is the most boring place on the face of the earth. Even the stuff that's supposed to be fun ends up blah. Like yesterday, when we went on a field trip to the museum. We didn't get to see any of the cool exhibits and we had to carry around these dumb clipboards so we could make observations the whole time. Something is different today though, really different. And that's where you're gonna pick it up. And here is the final prompt. Today started like every other day in my 12 years on earth. I got up, ate breakfast, brushed my teeth, Maybe. Then I tossed on some clothes I think were clean and hopped into the car so mom could drive me to school. But the second our garage door opened, everything changed. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I hope one of these writing prompts was interesting to you or maybe you can come up with your own fun writing prompt. In fact, if you come up with a great one that you want to work on or you want to share with me so I can share with others, send it to me through the contact form on my website. And guys, I'm so excited for you all to get started on this project. I hope that you feel confident and you feel ready and excited to ring in autumn and Halloween season with a spooky story of your own. All right, good luck guys.